What the heck is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Demos Game, and, and today we are playing the fishing mod by Telric for Seven Days to Die. <laughs> Sounds like I hear me a bug. I'm going to see if I can find it with my good old bug catching net here and use them for a little bit of bait. Uh, can I speed this up a little bit? I hear him. He's over here somewhere. I hear another one off to the right, too. Oh, what's that? What's that? I don't know if I can grab that or... Oh, oh, he jumps. Oh, oh, God. Oh, okay, I just got it. Sweet. <laughs> so, the essentially, the way that this mod works is uh, you got yourself a little bug catching net here. Bug net, short iron pipe sewing kit, cloth fragment, and wood. You grab yourself one of those, and then you go, you, you sneak, and then when you hear the, the chirping sounds... Just go in the direction of the chirping sounds. And then you'll eventually find a bug on the ground. You can grab it and use it for fishing. Now, from what I've gathered, I don't really think that you need the net. Fuck off. I don't really think that you need the bait, I should say. But um, I think the bait just increases your chances of getting stuff. I I'm not 100% sure if you actually need it or not. But I'm going on the assumption that you do. There is a bunch of different bait types. There's dragonflies, butterflies, grasshoppers. The one that we just found is a grub. You can apparently find worms from digging in the ground. Uh, and each one has like a different chance of being consumed when it's used, obviously. So, you know, all that, all that kind of jazz. Let's reload the shotgun here so we can shoot ourselves some fish. No, we're not going to do that. So I have uh, built ourselves... I have built ourselves. No, not, not really. So I have built a little dock here <laughs> to go fishing off of. I went really extra here, but it was all for you, the viewer. Got ourselves a little bit of, got ourselves a cooler here. We have some beer, okay? Drink ourselves a beer. Let's get a nice little buzz going here. All right, and let's catch us some fish. So the next thing that you're going to need is a fishing chair. Let's see how to make those. A fishing chair is made with wood and nails. Easy enough, right? Uh, and then the only other thing that you're going to need is a fishing pole, a wood fishing pole. And you can make that with an iron fishing hook, fishing reel, and some wood. And then how do we make a hook? Lead fishing weight and iron. Cool. How do we make a reel? Sewing kit, iron, wood, and scrap polymers. All right. So we got basically everything we need to go ahead and make our fishing pole. Now, I believe uh, this item works off the living off the land perks. So I think I, I, it looks like you can make it. Yeah, there's no requirement to make it, but... Probably the level goes up if you put points into the, the living off the land perk. But anyway, I kind of feel like this is just a neat mod. It gives you a different food source other than having to hunt animals and stuff like that. But I get the idea this could end up being kind of time consuming. So, you know, for those of you that enjoy just going out and just kind of fishing and, you know, taking your mind off the apocalypse for a minute or two, just to just enjoy life and, you know, just sit and look at the open water here. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's mighty beautiful. Now, I have found that the biome actually does affect what kinds of things you catch. So, I don't know if the time of day affects it. We are out here bright and early, 6, 6 o'clock in the morning, to get ourselves some fish. Because uh, just whenever I've been fishing before, I go out in the morning. Best time to find fish. So, anyway, we're just going to do ourselves a good old left click. We're going to stand on the chair. I think you have to either be right next to the chair, like kind of touching the chair. But if you stand on it, then you just cast and then we're good to go now eventually what will happen is uh once we catch a fish we're gonna need to kind of mash the f button here i'm gonna move my microphone a little bit closer so that i can get get my right hand over so i can mash that f button when you know when it hooks start like hitting the f button like really fast otherwise uh you will lose your catch and i don't want to lose the catch so now we just have to play the good old waiting game and hope you catch a fish here we go. Oh, what the hell, man? It's 7 o'clock. We haven't caught a damn thing yet. Come on, man. Come on. I want to fish, baby. Oh, oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that little thing on the left there tells us uh, once that gets to 100, then we catch the fish. Whoo, boy. So <laughs> that's how you do it. You got to mash that F button and catch that fish. What do we catch? We got a crappy. Sweet. Crappy can be caught in the forest biome during day or night. Ah, so the time of day does affect it. I, now, I, I mean, that I'm seeing... 
day or night. That does mean that day, you know, depending on the time of day, that will actually affect what you catch. All right, let's uh, try to catch something else here and see how long it frickin' takes. Oh my god, that took almost an hour. <laughs> almost a full in-game hour to catch that. And it looks like we caught another crappy. A crappy crappy. Cool. So, crappy fillet. What's, what's the deal with that? Um, we got a crappy fillet. A fillet from a crappy fish can be crafted while holding a knife, bone, or hunting candy cane. Oh. So you have to be holding a knife here. Let me, let me just grab like a bone knife real quick. Okay, so I'm holding a bone knife. I got that, right? Recipes, crappy fillet, craft two. Ah, okay, cool. So, oh, it actually, per fish, crafts two fillets. So if you have two, it gives you four. Okay, cool. And then what can we do with this? We got a fried crappy cake. Cornmeal, animal, fat, and goldenrod flour. Interesting, okay. A gently stuffed cake made of crap pie. Crap, crap pie, okay. And grilled fish filet, which is just a crappy filet, and, and it only takes one, that's nice, and two animal fat. It gives you a good uh, need for the animal fat there. So now a crappy filet, how much food does that give you? Well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a grilled fish filet and a fried crappy cake. So what do we got? We got 14 food, five health, two max stamina bonus. That's not really great for that. Oh God. And then the grilled fish filet is only seven, two and zero. What do you get? What do you get from just like boiled meat? Okay then, so I have bad news. The uh, boiled meat is kind of immediately better than either of these fish. So, and you have to wait a long time to catch the fish. So I don't really know, honestly, how much this is worth it. Just because of the time it takes to catch the fish versus what you get out of it and like the other ingredients you need to actually make something out of it. I mean, you know, it's fun to go fishing and everything, but I just feel like food-wise, that's not really worth it. So, hold on, let's let's check something real quick. We're, we're gonna go into the cheat sheet menu here and see what other options we have. So we have fried catfish. That gives you 19 food. I don't really know what it takes to catch a catfish. Uh, what else we got? We got, um, we got fish tacos. Who wants to live off the land when it's Taco Tuesday or is it Thursday? Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. How, okay, what's the recipe for fish tacos then? Oh, God, that's a standard recipe. All you need is a can of salmon and then cornmeal. Can you make canned salmon? Can of sham? No, you can't. <laughs> I don't really know how good this is. We do have a ton of other fish. Um, I went ahead and found some of the other types of fish that you can catch. Red snapper can be caught in the desert biome during the day. Uh, you can catch shrimp in the desert biome during the day. You can catch an octopus can be caught in the wasteland biome during the day. Interesting. So, the you know, there's all kinds of different snow. I guess a bluegill fish can be caught in the snow biome during the day. So you have a lot of different types of fish, I guess. So maybe some of the other ones might be a little bit better on the food. But I would like to see the the actual food that you get out of it be a little more worth your while i would almost consider like modding that to like you know even double some of the values or just make them a little bit higher make them on par with boiled meat you know because <laughs> otherwise it's like all right we'll just go kill a couple chickens and you know some pigs if you can find them and then you you are basically good to go a very interesting mod i mean i, I give it credit just for having a lot of different things that you can do with it you know having the ability to use up some of the other ingredients like animal fat and stuff like that to make some fried cakes that kind of thing i know that you can actually find crabs as well that was kind of interesting i caught a crab earlier and you can make a crab cake out of that uh and that's only 12 and 7 Ugh. Ugh. so hold on what's the crab cake recipe then crab cornmeal animal fat and and mushrooms? Who the fuck puts mushrooms in their crab cakes? I mean, I'm from Maryland, so, you know, we, we kind of pride ourselves in our crab cakes. I, and maybe people make them with mushrooms, I don't know. But I don't think I've ever seen a crab cake with a mushroom before, made with mushrooms before. So, like I said, interesting mod. It's definitely a lot of fun. I, the only thing, the only thing that I think would help it is just to maybe just up the values of 
what you're getting out of the food. Otherwise, like I said, just the time it takes to actually, you know, frickin' find yourself some bugs with the bug net, you know, so you have some bait, and then come out here and then go fishing. By the time that you've done all that, it's like, it takes a really, really long time, and then, you know, you only get a tiny bit of fish out of it. It's, that's kind of disappointing, so... <laughs> But the fishing itself is a lot of fun. Um, and also, I yeah, just why does it take so long? Hold on. one. Let's try something real quick here. All right. So we just gave ourselves a crap load of experience points. And then what we're going to do is... Is that Fortitude Living Off the Land? Let's max out Living Off the Land. I don't know... There we go. Okay, let's... So here's, here's Living Off the Land maxed out. Now... Let's try fishing again and see what happens. Ah, okay, so that was almost an immediate. Almost immediate. No, no, come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. All right, and then we caught a crab. <laughs> we caught one little crab. <laughs> so anyway, I guess, um, can, oh, can you just, oh, okay, so you don't even need to butcher it or you don't need to do anything with it. And then you can make that stuff as long as you have all those other ingredients. <laughs> so that's the other part of it. Okay, so I guess living off the land probably helps. Let's do one more quick test here just to make sure. 11.20. So the other one took, I don't know, what was that? Like just a couple in-game minutes and then we were good to go. So let's see how long this takes. Okay, about the same. So, cool. <laughs> Probably another crappy, right? Yeah, I've got another crappy. Okay, cool. So, finding lots of crappies and crabs and that kind of thing right here. Uh, so, definitely, if if you put points into the living off the land perk, that helps with just the time a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that would be super helpful. And I do know that apparently digging in the dirt. We'll get we'll occasionally find you worms. That's like a good way to find easy bait, I guess. So anyway, like I said, very interesting mod. So there are some things about it that, you know, you got to kind of uh, look out for and just make sure that you have everything you need to do your fishing along with the chair and all that kind of stuff. And then you should be good to go. Catch yourself some fish, you know, do a little bit of fish and just enjoy nature. Just being out here and don't fucking fall into the drink. Otherwise, there might be a goddamn zombie in there. And they can, they can swim pretty fucking fast, too. Them, them water zombies are no joke. The hell am I talking about? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please check out the mod. I'll go ahead and put it in the description. And uh, also, if you need help with installing this mod, I made a video a while back that just shows you how to install 7 Days to Die mod, so I will throw that in the description as well. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy this kind of content, then absolutely explode that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And in the meantime, if you find yourself in the wasteland, needing to get away from the troubles of zomb... Oh. Hey, listen here, fucker. You need to get the hell away from my damn dock. I'm trying to fish. I'm trying to enjoy my life. I'm trying to just chill out. And you're coming out here and fucking... Anyway, if you want to just go out and, you know, just kind of enjoy nature and, and just have a fun time, then think, go fishing. You know? And you can take that chair, too, and you can put it anywhere around here. You don't have to fish off the dock. But I like fishing off the dock. So, anyway... Just, just enjoying life, doing a little bit of fucking fishing. Any more fucking zombies want to come over here, huh? Anyone else? That's what I fucking thought. Anyway, see you on the next episode. Peace.